I'm here with uh, Chef Warren Sundstrom from the Arms Reach Bistro in North Vancouver. Uh, and with Gary Sutto from Seattle. Gary, you got up to North Vancouver and, and ran into some really good food, huh? Well, we used to live up there, and uh, we get up there whenever we can. And when we get up there, we stop into the arm, Arms Reach. And, and this dish, uh, this is uh, angry roasted chicken. Yep, and it's new to me. We made the nomination on the last day that you were asking for them. Right. And uh, I had to go to the website and say, what would I eat if I was going to go there? Angry chicken is what I wanted angry, to have. Angry chicken. Well, let's see just how angry it gets, shall we? I'm going to ask you to step out. Okay. And we'll uh, we'll ask uh, Chef Warren Sundstrom. Chef Warren, nice to see you. Hey, good to meet you. Uh, okay. Now, what do we do? Let's, okay. Uh, oh, first so, of all, we're angry roasted chicken. Yeah, it's called the angry roasted chicken. I see. <laughs> we're not going to ask folks. So. Yeah, you'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have a wingtip chicken breast that's just skin on, and we're going to start with a quick marinade. So we throw in about a tablespoon of ginger. Okay. And this stuff is really powerful. Let's bring this right up here so the camera can get a good picture. Okay. okay. And about a tablespoon of garlic. Now these two ingredients are really strong, so you don't want to add too much of it. They're going to really add a lot of flavor. And after that, I have some basil chiffonade here. Throw that right in, about a quarter cup, and a quarter cup of cilantro. So once this is all in the bowl, throw in some vegetable oil, and that's really going to help it marinate the chicken. Mm -hmm. So I got a pair Ginger, of tongs here. garlic, basil, and cilantro. Yeah, they're all really aggressive seasoning. That's why it's called the younger chicken. Okay. Actually, so we have sambal here. This is a red chili paste. It's got a lot of heat and it's got a lot of spice. So all you need is about, I'll go half a teaspoon for this. So sandwich. after it smells so good and you take a big spoonful of it, you uh, go for the water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a particular cultural tradition we're seeing here? Uh, no, no, this is uh, the chef of the Arms Reach Bistro, Eric Kelko, actually made this dish. And it was made for staff meals at first, so oh, everyone wow. wants a spicy chicken. So he just kind of came up with this dish and that became the egg chicken. In my experience, it seems the staff at restaurants eats at least as well, if not better, than the <laughs> customers do. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You have to be consistent for them, but you can yeah. do anything you want. Well, you got to treat, treat your staff well. Okay, so after this, we're going to throw in some lime zest. The zest has a lot more flavor than the juice, which we're going to throw in as well. I think that's the first time we've had lime zest. <laughs> no, 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 no. We've had lime zest before, okay. George. Bad memory. So, <laughs> so we're going about half a tablespoon or about a half a lime's worth of lime juice okay. and half a lime's worth of lime zest. So, so it seems vaguely Southeast Got Asian to me with all these things in there. I love that ginger and garlic combination. Yeah, yeah, it really is. But they're all really, like I said before, they're all really aggressive seasonings. You got the pungency of your lime, big flavors. Okay, so I you need to marinate this for about three hours minimum in a refrigerator. We'll just yeah, hang out for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> I bet yeah. you have one already marinated. I have one already prepared. You do indeed, right here. There you Perfect. Go. So this guy is picking up a lot of flavor, and it's got a little bit of lime in there. Nice. So the next step is to sear. And see, I thought the angry part might be the really hot pan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK, so we're just waiting for that pan to get really hot. You want to get it nice and smoking hot, so you kind of see a little smoke okay. come off of it. It should take only a second. I've had yeah. it on some heat all this time. I mean, okay. This is there a real restaurant pan here, too. Yeah. This is the classic thin steel yeah. pan. Thin cast iron pan. The secret to uh, okay, saute so, cooks. Yeah. Once it gets nice and hot, which is probably right about now, I'm going to take it off the heat because you want to avoid flaring at all costs. Okay. Add some vegetable oil. This just makes it so it doesn't stick. And we're going to season this chicken. I have some kosher salt here. Okay. One side, both sides, and some Yukon gold potatoes. These guys are a little less starchy than your average russet potatoes. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. Okay. Yep. Have those been pre-cooked at all? Yeah, long? these are par-cooked. Okay. Uh, you boil them for about four minutes, just until they're nice and soft. You would want to ensure the consistency. So a little bit of vegetable oil to help it coat. And we're going to throw this chicken right in the pan. So take it off the heat once again and lay it away from you. Oh, yeah. That's hot. Just so you don't get any splatter. All right. Okay, so done with that. All right. Oh, the smells. You yeah. bet. Good. 
It's like heaven. Now you can <laughs> slice those potatoes. Yeah. Well, we're going to crisp them up on both sides. Okay. And you want some texture contrast too, because that skin is going to be nice and crispy and soft inside. Okay, you're making me want to go to Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> So once this dish gets a nice sear on it, mm -hmm. okay. you're looking for some nice golden brown color. There's no, you don't know the time frame that's going to take. Depends on the chicken. And what we're also doing here is rendering down the fat in the skin so that fat isn't as quite as thick. So and you're simultaneously crispening, but you're also browning to get that Maillard yeah. reaction going. You kind of want some good flavor in there. Oh, the smells are yeah, just so indeed. good. Really good. Okay, so we'll throw about four Yukon gold potatoes in there. Nice. It's one of my all-time favorite potatoes, that Yukon gold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Pass it over. <laughs> my fault. Okay, so this dish, it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. And do you leave it skin side down for the oven? Journey. Well, no, no. First for the sear, just to get that color. Okay. We're gonna get a nice brown color, and then once it has that, flip it over and throw it straight in the oven. Okay. Let's see how we're doing in terms of color there. Yeah. Close. Close. Yep. Pretty close. So cook it maybe a third of the way on the stove top. Yeah. And then finish it in yeah, the oven. Yeah, as much as you can without it burning. The whole length from the time you start cooking it would be what? About. Uh, if everything's prepped and marinated, mm -hmm. probably about 15, 20 minutes. See? See? That's not too much for any kitchen or any cook. You know <laughs> so if you had a family of four, you might just have a bigger saute pan. Yeah, exactly. Or sear them all off and then put them on a tray. That would work. That'd, That'd be throw nice. them in the oven. Okay. Well, speaking of throwing in the oven, <laughs> I guess maybe I should do oh, that. Oh, that's yeah, nice that's, brown. that's beautiful. Oh, wow. How, how hot is that the oven? Uh, 350 degrees. Okay. And what about potatoes? Flip them or leave them? Uh, flip them once they, uh, they get a little color. Yeah, that's yeah. good. All right. This is the perfect family meal for a restaurant crew, but I think it's a perfect family meal Boy, for my family <laughs> too. Okay, into the oven we go. Okay. So what you want to do is let that roast for about 15 to 20 minutes, and the internal temperature should be about 100 deg 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 77 degrees Celsius. That just gives it a nice well well done. And I actually have one. Do you have a rag around here? Do you have a hot pad? Yes, I do have a hot there pad. There you go. And I'll pull that one out for you. Thanks. And is there something that goes on the plate with this? Yeah, I have an arugula salad here. This is just some baby arugula. And we're going to make a super simple dressing in the bowl. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And you always want to go for the best when you're making a good salad. This is first pressed extra virgin olive oil. Beautiful. And I have some strawberry balsamic vinegar. Oh, nice. Ooh, just a little bit of that in oh, there. Oh, boy, that's wonderful. That is just wonderful. And some cherry mm. tomatoes. You know, when I worked in restaurants, we used to joke that dinner was always chicken bread and salad. But this is no <laughs> ordinary chicken bread and salad. Oh, no. <laughs> it's quite deep. Nah. So I have a little bit of kosher salt in the out here. And I'll just use my hands. Give it a quick toss. All right. Strawberry added to balsamic vinegar is just, just a smell. Yeah, it's got a great smell. Well, you know, I love balsamic vinegar on strawberries, if, especially if the strawberries still have a little white shoulder. They're not quite what a great as idea. ripe as they should be. Nice. A tiny drop of balsamic will make them taste like it's the height of summer. Yeah, it's a perfect pair. Okay, so our Yukon Golds, that are nice yep. and crispy, going on the plate. Oh, right. Let's nice. see if it tastes like it did when Gary Soto tried it at your <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Gary, come on up. I, I was going, getting in there. Here's a fork for you, sir. And that's the angry roast chicken. George, I've got forks ready for us too, if you need one. I got, I got one here. This oh, look, is my he's, last he's one. going for the <laughs> salad first. Yeah. Such a healthy eater. <laughs> I want to try some. Oh, of that that's too. really good. Mm. As good as you remember. Wonderful. I want to try the chicken with Me too. those amazing flavors of ginger and garlic and cilantro. Just think about that for a minute, folks. <laughs> ginger oh, and boy. garlic, cilantro. Uh. Mm. Just as good as I'm I I'm getting all kinds of food, <laughs> but I'm really very busy right now. 
Oh, that's very good. 1-800-443-1999. <laughs> you really want these recipes. This is nice fantastic recipe. food, Thanks. and you can do it in your home. Make the call. Thank you very, very much. Thanks for having me on the show. Thanks for bringing them to us. Uh, Thanks, yeah. Gary.